What is up? Welcome back. We're going to start trying something new. On Tuesdays, we're going to try this How To Tuesdays, where we take a tip that we've done in a previous video, we isolate it and do a deep dive. Now, this week, we're going to do how to make fonts in Illustrator cutable for the Glowforge or Cricut or any CNC type device. We're going to jump into Illustrator and go real slow, step by step. All right, let's start with a new file. We'll go create new. We'll use this 11 by 48 print. It's like three pickets wide, the three small pickets. And we'll go with our type tool. We'll start with incredibly. Incredibly. Incredibly, I hope I spelled it right. Then we're gonna use our selection tool and we're gonna grab one of these anchors, hold shift, and make it big. Looks like I spelled it right. Let's grab one of these anchors, see how it turns into a, like a, a rotate. Kind of turns into like a rotate cursor. We're gonna hold shift, click it twice, boop, boop. That'll lock it on its 45s. All right, we'll put incredibly here. Back to the type tool. We're gonna, oh, control Z, that'll undo it. Hold down the type tool, we're gonna to go to vertical type tool. Vertical. And we're gonna do thankful. Did I spell it right? No, oh, it's too small. Let's go to our selection tool. We'll grab an anchor again, hold shift. This will keep the proportions. Zoop. All right, thankful. All right, now let's change these fonts. This font is going to be like, Bring them or something, something like that. Let's see what it is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, Birmingham. We're gonna go with a Birmingham. We'll go bold. And then this one is gonna be. I forgot what it is. Something with an L. Do, 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 I'll know it when I see it. Oh, there it is. Lambrigia. All right. That's a little big. We'll go over here and we'll make it 46 inches tall. Ooh, look at that. Let's stretch this out. We'll make this 46 inches tall. We'll select them both holding the shift key and we'll go ahead and align them vertically in the center. Oh, that's pretty good, not bad. Let's move it in a little closer. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, let's select them both, see how wide it is. Alright, we're just under 11. That works. Incredibly looks okay. Looks a little thin. So let's go over here and we're gonna add a stroke. Make a black stroke. One point, two point, three, four. Let's do five points. All right, looks good. We're gonna make both of these cuttable now. So we'll go to type, uh, create outlines or shift control O, bam, created outlines. Now you'll see over here incredibly, you can see the tails of each of these. So we're gonna go ahead and view, pathfinder tool, oh, sorry, window. Pathfinder tool. Bam. We're gonna merge all of these or unite. Now remember I put a stroke on these. I put a stroke on incredible, so we're gonna go back to object, path, outline stroke. Now you see it's got like three lines around it. Oops. See? Got three lines. Make sure they're all selected and go back to the Pathfinder tool and we'll unite again. That made it that thickness. 
This looks okay. We'll unite it anyway, because I see some straggler lines. So we'll unite. Bam, we got rid of those straggler lines. We're going to control, shift, alt. That'll give us our out. Or that'll give us our unmagnify. I don't know. Make small. All right, everything looks good. Let's make these cuttable. We'll select them both. I'm gonna get rid of the fill, no fill. And then I'm gonna add a stroke of red. This will let me know that it's cuttable inside of Glowforge. Now I'm gonna export this. So we're gonna export as, I'm incredibly thankful. Incredibly thanks. Thankful. Thankful. We'll put today's date in. 08, 06, 2021. Export. Now, we're going to want to use the presentation address. At <laughs> we're going to want to use the presentation attributes. Keep the font SVG. Embedded images, we don't have any images. Object names is the layers, and okay. Now we'll come over to Glowforge. Let's see if it worked. Create, upload from file. <laughs> Details, date, incredibly thankful. There it is. Zoom out. All right, we'll go up here and make it a pass through. And we're gonna use thick draft board settings. We'll select everything and move it up. We start from the bottom. Shoo. All right, looks great. I'm gonna go turn on the Glowforge and start this cut.